Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Minecraft. So today we're going to check out the Electric Blast Furnace, or at least attempt to check it out today. First I'm going to make some smeltering iron for later use, or at least attempt to. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did over here after I'm done this. I think this is it. I think this is right. Oh boy, I used a lot more tin than I thought. So uh, originally I made uh, aluminum, silicon, whatever wool, which was required uh, for the um, coils, I believe it was. And uh, I just got the sapphire dust uh, and I even had ruby dust. I got some from a quest in sapphire dust, but I also used just what I had. Um, I also got from ores and things like that. And then the silicon uh, dust was actually not so bad. I found a recipe here. Uh, basically what I did was I centrifuged the flint dust, which is first from flint if you remember. Though I couldn't find a recipe that would provide flint itself in a decent abundance. Uh, you had the three here, you had the motor, and then I couldn't find another one that I could do right away. I guess I could have seen if I could make a sag mill right away, but... I didn't check and this one took too long so I decided I would just go ahead and do it via even this one see you only have a 10% chance so I just decided to do it by hand um, which I think was just a better yield at the time as you can see I made quite a bit here uh, probably a bit more than I needed but uh, it doesn't really hurt really um, I'll process it or stack it up and use it for something later on uh, but anyways so that's how I made this uh, material here and then I made the cooper nickel which the cooper nickel was actually pretty easy uh, it was just taking uh, literally you can just take copper and nickel dust or ingots and uh, you get your cooper nickel and then you made the coils so we'll, we'll go to the quest book here and uh, so you get the EBF here you get the heat proof casing which that was made by Nick Invar sorry and Invar itself was just made with a mix of Da, da, da. It was just nickel and iron. So you use nickel, iron, and then nickel and copper, basically, for this quest. And uh, we made the heat proofing cases, and then you make the electric blast furnace here, so it's pretty straightforward with one of the heat proof machine cases. And then you make a bunch of input buses, output buses, and input hatch. They're just relatively simple recipes, always using um, uh, LV machine hull. So you got a couple more here, a maintenance hatch and a muffler hatch. And then LV energy hatch. Now, uh, apparently these accept two amps, and some of the recipes I think are like 128 or around there. So this should be uh, enough to run whatever we want, but uh, we'll see. And then this is where you make the wool stuff, and then the cooper nickel wire, and then you uh, put it into an assembler, and then you get your wool. And this is 2x cooper nickel wire that you produce. You also need molten tin, so I just used some tin in here. I think it was like 16 tin or 8 tin or something like that in a basic fluid extractor. And then I, of course, pushed it and had the little output go into the assembling machine. It was perfect amount. Uh, actually, was it that many or maybe it was 8? Anyways. Uh, or no, it was 1 per how many I needed. So it was 16, I believe. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so we finished that. You can either get the duct tape, which you can repair it, or 3 tier 2 loop bags. Three tier two or two or ugh, tier two loot bags seem a lot better than uh, that to me. I don't know if I I should look at my last episode here. Don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. Ah, I don't want to hear my voice. Did I have? I don't think I had this room done at the time. Did I? No, I think I had the old. Oh yeah, I had the old steam one. Ooh, so there's advancements. Okay, good. I was making sure I I didn't show you this. Ta da da! We have a big ass iron tank here, really big. Uh, holds up to ow. Uh, holds up to ten thousand steam, which not quite holding right now. And uh, we just raised our uh, guys here a little further high. This will hurt, of course, too. Ow. And uh, start our solar boilers. We put glass up there. We also put glass over top of our other guys. So this is a safety so if mobs don't fall down on us. But it seems like torches don't affect these nor do the glass. Uh, the solar boilers, at least for glass sake, shouldn't be... Uh, or sorry, uh, uh, the, the glass on the top shouldn't affect it. The torches don't too because they're not considered... Like they're considered transparent or hollow or whatever. Now, I wasn't sure about this, but I put glass on top of these. And I haven't been affected by it as well, so it looks like it's fine as well to have glass on top of these. So outside there's glass. So this is just a big buffer, basically. And then over here, 
we have our uh, our setup that we're going to do for this. I might remove these or get rid of them for now. I was thinking of putting our setup around here somewhere. So uh, basically, I guess we're on the we got to go and make our uh, whole setup now, <laughs> or at least try to figure out uh, how to make it. Uh, and see if it gets working. So uh, let's start with the main machine here. Is this the main machine? Oh yeah, this is the blast furnace itself. I was thinking I'd come on from this way so I'd access it over here. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Um, I'm not sure how this even blends in. So you have your LV hatches here. Um, you're gonna want two of them at least, of course. So uh, here's your power input basically. I'll probably wrench them downwards and then join the wire over there. That's, I guess, would be my guess of how I would do it. And then um, you're going to have to fill in the rest of the bottom. This one would be that in the center for sure. And then uh, you're going to want a maintenance hatch. Uh, maintenance hatch is to repair it, I believe. I believe it's not repaired when you first use it, so it leaves a lot more power, which basically you need like a third LV hatch as far as I know if uh, you had that issue. Um, and then you have your input LV, output LV, muffler, input hatch. I'm not sure how um, item input for multi-block capacity four stacks. Ah, okay. So this is the input. And then you have your input hatch, fluid input. Oh, okay. So this is your item input. So this is where you would put an item in. And then uh, muffler LV. Uh, this, I think, goes on the very top. An output, this is your item output, as far as I know. And then you would have your input fluids. And funny thing is, you'd think there would be an input and output for the fluids, but maybe not. Or maybe there's just two different fluids. I'm not sure, to be honest. But uh, maybe it's best that we... Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if they're not separated, because we can separate them in another method. So I have no clue if this will work, but uh, it's worth uh, a try. And then your next layer is literally placing the uh, Cooper nickel co coils on here and then of course as you can see my butt is a little too big for this so we're gonna have to fix this up a bit and I would do it one more I would do this one out one more and then I'm gonna go ahead and do oh no that should be good okay and then on the very top we're gonna set up this again but as far as I know, this time, you're going to put the muffler. Oh, no, I'm a noob. <laughs> noob, noob, noob. Woo. These take a lot more uh, wrenching power there. They have a little bit more hardness, I guess. Yeah, I kind of noobed up there. I'm going to have to do this one more time. I thought I did before, and then I didn't think there for a second. And then I realized, oh, I do definitely going to have to do this one more height. There you go. And uh, we'll get the last state on here. There you go. There you go. And then we'll put this on here. And then we're going to put the muffler hatch over here. Now you're going to want to probably wrench this upwards, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, I wonder if that's a feature. You're supposed to wrench all the blocks. Kind of would make some some sense, right? Oh, damn. That is uh, a bit cool, to be honest. Okay. Oh, actually, I think this works. So it says electric blast furnace, pipe is loose, screws are loose, something is stuck, platings are dented, circuitry is burnt out. That doesn't belong there. I do not know what this doesn't belong there. I had a page and I lost it for this. Oh. There we go. Uh, hey, you know what? It might have been actually the quest book that said that. This here. Crowbar. Ah, okay. So you're going to need all those different things to basically fix it. So... Uh, one of them required a wrench probably, right? So pipe is loose. So was there a pipe loose on that? Let's see. This will be kind of fun. So uh, pipe loose. So basically, if you open this interface and you click this with this, it should. There you go. How cool is that? So we need a bunch of other tools as well to fully repair it, of course. So we'll do that. 
but there will be one that we don't have, and that's another machine or another device, I guess. Another tool, actually. And we haven't made any new tools for a very long time. We've been just using our default tools, right? So this will be a kind of a new one for us. Um, screwdriver, soft mallet, hammer, the soldering iron, spoilers, and the crowbar. So crowbar doesn't matter which one, probably. We'll grab the Greg Tech one just in case. Uh, soft mallet and screwdriver. And uh, I believe that's it. And if we use these on this, it should fix it up. And I don't even think it does any durability. There's no sound effects. So I have no clue if these actually affect the durability or not. But uh, we could check. Uh, one, three, three. Oh, it does. If I keep spamming it, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So apparently spamming it uses a lot of durability. Okay. And there you go. Electric uh, blast furnace. Circuitry is burnt out. So there you go, guys. So we have one more thing to do. To do. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to store these tools here so they're kind of like always in hand. This could be like blast furnace storage material or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to make a soldering iron, which the soldering iron, soldering iron, is not actually that hard to make. I thought it was going to be out of my level basically, but basically you need any kind of bolt, uh, an iron rod. I think it's all iron rods, so that's not too bad. So basically, uh, I don't even know if they have an effect on it at all. Oh, well, attack damage is dependent on the, uh, the rod, but that's it. I can't see uh, any other need or use for it, so I think it's going to be fine. So right off the bat, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We have another battery, thankfully. So we're going to go over here and swap out this battery for this battery. This will just charge this battery over time for us. And uh, see ya. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay, so we got the battery. So that's that's done. Uh, iron rod. Uh, we need rubber sheet. So thankfully we don't need any uh, uh, special. Uh, I was worried we'd need like something special there, but it's just regular. Uh, okay, so let's get ourselves a rubber sheet. And then an iron rod. And then it looked like it was any one of these guys. So is there any high level one of these guys? There's an iron bolt, but I don't have anything else right now. That's fine. I think it was a bolt, right? Yep. And then uh, the battery, and then we need a chisel and a screwdriver. There we go. And uh, here we go. So we got this here, and we got this little guy, that guy. Ooh, is that a piece of iron, or can it be anything? Oh, no, that's the uh, the plate here, derp. I thought it was something special at first because it had the different color, and I was like, ooh, what is that? And there you go. And uh, you also get rewarded uh, this. I don't know what this is required. Soldering requires soldering material item and 10,000 veil soldering materials are fine. Wires, rods, and gets made from either tin, lead, or soldering alloy. Soldering iron consumes uh, first such material it finds in player's inventory. Other problems and tools. Oh, so I don't have to make that other material, but I decided to make it anyways. Uh, I guess there was other soldering materials uh, you can make, but I thought it would just be appropriate to make the actual soldering uh, aluminum itself, and that's what I was doing over here. Which, I guess in the end, doesn't really matter, but uh, I did it anyways. Uh, so we, we can look up the material here. Soldering aluminum. Fine soldering wire, basically. So I was thinking of making this. So basically, uh, we put the it in the wire mill, and then we put it again, basically. Or you can get more out of it. You get four out of that. Can I get more of that? Or you get one of that. Oh, no. That's just if you do it in the old way, I guess. I wonder what LV this is. 32. Huh. And it's two lossage. This is not very good stuff. There you go. We'll go ahead and put this in here. Yeah, I was running quite a bit of stuff here, so my 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 steam's a little lower than normal right now. Kind of kind of a dirty amount. 
So I don't know how many you need, but we'll take, uh, we'll do eight and we'll see what that does for us. There you go. It says a durability and a power bar, or is it like just one or I really don't know. Anyways, boom. So it used just one. The durability is fine. It just looks like it used a bunch of power. That's all. And you could probably charge it with any machine in the game. So uh, if you forgot about this, basically to charge things, you put it in any inventory and you can see it charging up right there now. So that's how we uh, charge it up over time, of course. So we can go ahead and put this in here as well in the soldering. And my friends, we should have a working blast furnace. Hit with a soft mallet to re-enable, start the machine, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we take the soft mallet and boom. And... Uh, Hit the soft mallet to re enable start machine if it doesn't start. Oh, it's to say if it doesn't start. Well, we probably needed to do it for the first time anyways, and that's it. And uh, basically, now we just need to give it some power, of course. You don't want it not to have power at this point. Uh, I don't think there is an issue doing this, but I hate I hate doing uh, loopy -de loop loop. So do I have any plates around here? I don't think I have any plates in here right now. So we're going to go and get a plate. I don't like to do loops this day and age. I think they were solved a long time ago, but it's just a, it's a, a pride of mine not to, I think I only needed one, to uh, not have any kind of looped IC cables. Uh, back in the day, it could have been a very dirty performing uh, performance issue. And uh, so what we do there is we just put this here and then that way I can go. Actually, I didn't even need that there. I'm a noob. So we're going under it. <laughs> there we go. Oh crap. We did bad apparently. Okay. Oh, you're a noob, Kate. Yeah, you did really bad there. This is regular tin cable. This is very bad. I'm gonna go ahead and break this. Thankfully, it doesn't self-destruct all the cabling I've done, or you know, done something even worse. So what we did there was put one X uh, cabling, but we got eight amps running through the, the 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 whole line and system. Basically, it was deadly. Basically, it was a very stupid mistake of my part there. But it wasn't a bad thing. We we survived. I'm working on some food for later, so I can't eat. I set up a food I can't eat, this food I can't eat, but all this food I can start eating. So uh, I've been saving it for a while, so it's like, oh, here, you, you know, go for a, a buffet. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. AX cable. Perfect. I have a habit of sprinting when I'm recording, which is a bad thing, but a cane thing there we go less derpiness boom 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 and if things don't blow up I'm already happy there we go so that is a great thing already mainly because there's no explosions and uh, so what we can do is give this a try I guess uh, hopefully everything works oh we're gonna get I guess the thing that we're making is aluminum, right? So uh, the first thing I want to try out is putting some aluminum dust in here. Now, I wouldn't put all your aluminum dust, of course. Don't put all your oranges into one basket or apples into one basket because uh, apparently uh, if it can't process it, it will basically not run. But basically, we know how to you know, put this in here. Uh, we know that basically it goes into this. So, um, now it says it needs nitrogen gas, or does it produce nitrogen gas? Oh, you don't have to have nitrogen gas. Oh, it reduces the cost. Okay. That's what it is. Okay, so 60 seconds. Uh, t it takes uh, 144K, basically, to make that. Okay. So... This isn't working... Then I assume... Oh, no, I'm an idiot. It doesn't go like that. <laughs> I am an idiot. It goes into an input slot like this. As far as I know. But I've never done this ever. So, 
Might be set wrong. I'm not sure, my friends. I am not sure. I saw this. Uh, I don't know how this guy did it. I watched a quick video of somebody else doing it. I couldn't understand what he was saying, but input bus, yeah. So basically, mine is not working, unfortunately. As far as I know, because of the ampage and everything, like it should be working just fine. But uh, of course, if it's not working, it's not working, of course, too, right? But we saw both of the bottoms here, too, so. Hmm. I'm thinking, uh, anything else I can do? Probably not, to be honest. I guess you can look, see it set up. So this is this part, and it has all the green blocks. So all the green blocks should be in every spot, unless if another block type is there. For example, the maintenance hatch, and you get the fluid input hatches, and the output put bus, and course this one here and then uh, we don't have anything there which is fine uh, it might be across chunk borders but I'm usually good about this no it's not on or across a chunk border so let's say I usually don't derp about that kind of stuff and then uh, outside of that there's the power it comes right from the the low va uh, battery buffer the only thing I could think of is it won't work because of uh, the location. Maybe I need a couple more low battery buffers and bring it right to it? Possibly. I mean, that that is possible, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't even doubt it. Um, so that, that wouldn't be an issue. I would just need to make those. But I assume it could pick up because it can take in... Total, it can take in three. And, well, let's look at the aluminum again here. Aluminum is expensive, though, uh, for power usage. So it might not work. But, um, oh, 128 would be the total. Actually, you know what? It might not be able to. I don't know how it works that way, but uh, it might not actually be able to do it that distance. That might be the issue right now. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is make another battery buffer, I guess, and bring it right to it. I don't know if it'll fix it or not, but I think it'll be important for our testing. It'll be a interesting thing anyway, so we'll make a new battery buffer for it. Um, battery, or probably LV battery. Oh, no. Battery buffer. Okay. So it depends on the cable material, basically, which is not a problem. So we can make it out of, of course, uh, lots of cabling. So we'll make the the big one. And then uh, low voltage battery buffer. We're just going to need a chest. And then we're going to need one of these guys here. There we go. So as far as I know, yeah, okay. We just need to make one, two, three, four of these guys. And uh, hopefully this will be enough for it. I'm feeling like I'm missing something right now or I'm derping. Oh, the chest derp. There you go. And then uh, we're going to bring a wire cutter. I thought I had wire cutters on me, but I guess I dropped them or put them down. So we're hoping and thinking it might be related to... Uh, not enough batteries at this point, or not batteries, but what we could do is we'll probably do it from here as well. That way gives us that hope. Okay, so what does this one look like? Uh, let's do this. Let's put you here, and okay, you're there. Okay, that is there. Okay. 
So what I'm thinking of doing here is the same style. We'll just put it right here. There you go. That's connected right. And we'll for now we'll test it with literally getting one, two, three, four, and test it this style before we hook it up. Oh, it's going. Well, it's draining anyways. Interesting. There doesn't seem to be anything else unless you're not supposed to output it like that, but I assume that's how you output it, so I'm not sure. Because I feel like at this point, we're doing good. Hmm. I'm assuming that would be a bad thing, right? No power can get in there now. Oh yeah, you can even see the cabling connected that way. But it doesn't need any repair, so man, I'm gonna have to play around with this, unfortunately. I thought it would work right off the bat, but clearly this ain't working, so. Um, this is as close as I think it should, like, needs to be, I should say. I was gonna say uh, something else, but I don't think it needs to get any closer than this. So at this point, I would just say there's definitely something wrong with my setup or something else. Uh, it could be, say, one of these hatches are acting up. I don't know. Maybe you can't have both of these hatches. Maybe you can't have any of these. Maybe there is a, a certain setup when those hatches are in there, right? There could be a, a lot of things, unfortunately, that are... There you go. Restart. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any uh, indication I'm doing anything wrong, but uh, I'll definitely have to play around with it anyways. I think if you do this, then... Oh, I remember reading something bad about it, but... Yeah, 32, 64, 128. And it, it doesn't need that much. We could try another item in it, I guess, and see if it works, maybe. Hmm. Uh, let's try steel. Just steel, really. I had some steel dust I didn't know what to do with, actually. Do I have it around here still? Hmm. Well, we can go like this and uh, look at what steel's made out of, I guess. I hope there wasn't, no, I don't think there was a program circuit involved at all. That would have been embarrassing, though. Okay, let's try a bit of iron for fun. I'm not saying this will work, but it'll be worth uh, trying out anyways. Okay, um, oh, I wish I had the steel on me. Oh, here it is. Wrong steel. Okay. So just iron of any kind? 
Oh. Actually, apparently it has to be uh, iron dust, interesting enough. Or steel dust. Huh. Or raw iron. Oh no, iron dust, sorry. Interesting it has to be uh, dust though. That's not a problem, but uh, wouldn't have thought in that. Of course, delays my my abilities. You see, my food is not cycling properly. It's doing one each, or it just sucks at this point. Uh, let's see. Do I have some iron dust in one of these? <laughs> Look at all the dust I have here. There you go, iron dust. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Okay, well, my blast furnace definitely does not work at all. I have no clue, guys. I have done everything I think or know how to get it to going. The only thing I can think is I need two low battery buffers uh, to get it to go, which kind of sucks. Um, I might just I might just give that a try. This is gonna increase a bit more, but at least if that doesn't work, we can say what well, we've tried everything this episode. We'll just have to uh, try later, right? Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I ran out of all the components. I think so. Uh, battery buffer. Pretty sure I'm out of all these, yep. So I'm gonna need more steel. I'm gonna need wrought iron and another piece of steel. I'm gonna need a wrench. Okay, okay. So we got you done. And then we got you done. And then we have, I think it's like this. With the wrought iron and a piece of steel. And then we're gonna have to do another bunch of you guys. There you go. And then uh, oh, we're gonna need a chest as well. And then this, the chest, and these guys. Flip these guys over, okay. So if this doesn't work, then we definitely don't know what we're doing. <laughs> but hopefully it does work. Cause I don't wanna have to do this again later. Uh, there we go, wire cutter. Take this out, take that out, and then we'll op we'll take the batteries out, pick this up, and we'll literally go you here, you here, and then we'll flip them both up. There you go. And then we're gonna be really stealing the batteries here. And uh, oops. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we need one more. That's going to break some stuff, but whatever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so definitely is using energy unless that has a buffer, but no, that did not work at all. So at that point, that's the best I could do. Uh, we'll have to just uh, see why this isn't working at all later on then. Because this should be in an acceptable format at this point. And uh, we can't seem to get it to go at all. So that, uh, that kind of sucks either way. I'll have to read up on it. See if I can diagnose it. And then go from there. But uh, either way, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Okay, guys, I figured this out. I derped up really badly with the electronic blast furnace. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this here, here, and here. And uh, we're going to basically enable this process. So what happened was I put the wrong circuit. Aluminum required a circuit to begin with. And then I had put the wrong circuit like an idiot. And I always kept doing it because there's a circuit with uh, a certain gas, and there's a circuit with no gas. So I'll show you that after. But if we put this in here now... Uh, it should start to work here. There you go. And the problem here now, of course, is we don't have enough power. As you guys know, um, that 
because it requires so much, it would die by the time it got here, which is understandable, of course, with this setup, and I kind of knew that originally. So this is why we decided we'll put a bat box here. Not bat box, but a battery buffer, sorry. And then we were going to plug it in directly like this, and then I'll take one, two, three, four batteries from here, and I'll go one, two, three, four batteries from here. And this overall, once they kind of initialize, uh, should be enough to make this work. And of course, they'll charge up as well. So now, if we go ahead and we hit this on, it should be fine. Now, you do lose your dust every time you do an operation failure. So keep that in mind. If you run out of power or do something derpy, you will lose the power no matter what. But this should be fine because it should only lose you know maybe up to three on that one and two on that one or one i think somebody says that the box itself might count as one and then two L uh lv three but i'm not 100 percent sure but either way uh, it only needs 130 and you know with this setup it's uh 64 128 or was it 120 because it was 120 but anyways that should work so if we look at the aluminum dust i was completely stupid on this part uh, if we look at how you use it in here, uh, this one was for the nitrogen gas, which if we're not using nitrogen gas, uh, you needed another chip. Uh, so for example, if you use a small one, you use a uh, chip of nine. If you use a big one, you use chip configuration one. If you use uh, the small piles, uh, you use four. So that was the tiny pile. Uh, if you use uh, nitrogen, they have different ones for each one. So you kind of get the idea now that, you know, I derped up pretty bad there. And that is uh, basically a must uh, to set up properly. If you don't set it up properly, of course, then that's it. You're, you're doomed. You're screwed. So even though this was a long, long episode, and hopefully I can get this last episode joined, we've just hit the aluminum level. There we go. So we have officially made our first aluminum ingot. And now I can make many more over time. Uh, with our setup uh, so yeah now I'm happy about that and uh, we got it working and uh, it should be how it should be so there you go so thank you guys and girls so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and sorry for the extra long video and see you wonderful people next time